In today's little exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to tie the snake knot lanyard onto our knife here. And as you can see, I've got my knife and I have attached a lanyard to it and I've created the snake knot. Um, so let's just get in and show you how to tie this knot. It's rather pretty, rather simple. In fact, it's very simple to make. So simple, you know, it only takes a couple of minutes to show you on this one. So let's get straight into the snake knot for my knife lanyard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, attach the lanyard to my, um, to, to be honest, the worst knife in the world. It is a buck knife, um, but it really is a horrible knife. I just don't like it. And if anybody from Buck, Mr. Buck, Dr. Buck, anybody from Buck, if you want to send me something better than that to test, please do. This one just didn't, doesn't keep a sharp blade. And to be honest, the hole is wrong for my lanyard. So I'm going to pass my lanyard through like so. I'd rather have a round hole in the end than one like this. But anyway, that's, that's by the by. So this is now going to be the snake knot lanyard on my knife and I'm going to put my lanyard on like so and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left hand side like so pass it over all of them like so so we've got that particular shape there so basically I've gone down around underneath the two in the end and come out the other side there and all I'm going to do now is take this one here, I'm going to go underneath that one there, so pull that through like so, and then come out through that loop. And we're going to just keep doing that all the way. This is so simple and easy. And then adjust the knot up to where you want your lanyard to start from. And so I'm going to start from this point here, and then pull it up nice and tight. So there we go, pull it up nice and tight, and then there's our first knot. And we do exactly the same again. We go over the top like so, then bring it round underneath like so to form that shape. And then the working end of this one goes underneath like so. So bring it through underneath and then take it down through that hole there. And that's it. Just pull that up nice and tight and get it really tight because we want it nice and tight and then pull it up so that it's tight against the previous knot like so. And we then start to get a nice pattern appearing there. And just go back and tighten that one a bit. That's it. Just make sure the beginnings, the beginnings always got to be the, the tightest of them all. Um, and then the other knots can sit up against it. So once again, we take this one, we go round, underneath, like so, form that loop. And then this working end here goes underneath there and down through the loop. It's just so simple, this one. Just a very simple knife lanyard that you can make. And then just pull that through. Oh, just not getting it. There we go. Pull it up tight. Just make sure it's level with the ones above. And you can see there, we've got a nice snake pattern starting to appear there. And then pull it up tight, nice and tight again. I always like to do my knots nice and tight there. And then once again, goes over that one, comes back underneath both of them, like so, the working end of this one, up round, and then down through the loop, just there. And we just now have another one here. And just pull it up tight. And there we go. And then just another one that's up nice and tight. And you can see here now, we're getting a nice 
effect here on our lanyard. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going for a bit. I want it to be a bit longer. So what I'll do is I'll do a bit more and then I'll come back to you on that. Right, so we've done a bit more here. And what I'll do is I'll just show you another couple of times what I did there. And basically I go round over the top of the first one, underneath both again, and leave it like so. I then take the working end of the other one, I go underneath that one, and then down through the loop that's been created on the right hand side, and just pull it up. Just as simple as that, and that's it. It's just pull it up tight, and just get it nice and tight. We want all our knots tight, always like a tight knot. And then once again, over the top, like so, down, underneath, then we take this one here, underneath, and then down through, like so. Get the twists out of it as we're doing it, that's it. And there we go. We now have a rather nice snake knot. And it's so simple to make. It's just basically just working on one side all the time. And we've got this lovely crisscross pattern down here. Now the thing is, we can go on, make this as long as we want, or if we want to, we can cut off our leads here and just have two little dangly bits there. Choice is yours. You know, once again, you know, there's no rules as to what you've got to do with it. But now what I've done is I've created a nice lanyard. So actually when I hold a knife now, I've got something also in my hand to grip as well. Um, and it just makes the whole thing not only a little bit better looking, but also it gives you an additional bit of area to grip onto to hold a knife if, you, if you're coming towards the end of your handle as such. Um, and so there we have it. There we have a very simple um, the snake knot, lanyard. And, you know, just a wonderful, simple little knot to tie.